everyone welcome back to my channel today I'll be unboxing or unbagging actually I got it out of the box I thought I was recording when I did it but I was not so anyway I've got two big bags like this they come from shopgoodwill.com it was from an auction I won from the Goodwill at Appleton Wisconsin so this is bag one of two I'll make another video in a few days with the second bag for now, let's just get into this one and see what treasures we have. Let's pull out a handful. Everything's kind of connected together. Okay, let's start sorting this out. Okay, first of all, we have like just a clicking shut bracelet. Then we've got a couple of bangles as well. And they're a matching set. Still kind of lightweight like plastic, so not super high-end or anything. A pair of stainless steel earrings. Here we have a necklace. I don't see any branding on it. It's got like a silver disc at the bottom. And then comes to these pretty turquoise colored beads. Here we have another pair of earrings, a pair of cubic zirconia earrings, and we've got a bit of a tangle here. We have like a fake leather rope with a charm at the end. See what I can get loose here. We'll start with just these faux pearls here. It's a triple strand. So there we go. Little hook at the top. It's got some clear beads mixed in as well. These are kind of pretty. bracelet. It says Nashville on it. A Nashville bracelet from Appleton. And I just had all those Nashville boxes too. Hmm. Okay. Here we've got a big chunky necklace. I'm just trying to work that free of the knot. It's got gold chain at the top or gold tone. I'm sure it's not gold. I don't see any branding. And it comes down to kind of like clear acrylic, some wood blocks. Here we have a pin or brooch. It's kind of pretty. This is going to be a tangly lot. Yeah, this is one big knot. I mean, I know they don't pre-sort these. They just kind of scoop them up, but still. I will do my best to work this loose. It's all kind of stuck on the clasp to here. Maybe I can work it out piece by piece. Okay. So here, we just have a little necklace. I don't see any branding on that either, but it's got silver tone. It's got these little different hearts here. It's kind of cute. Still not seeing too much that's eBay worthy here yet. have like a gold ish tone seems more like plastic here we have a gold tone necklace that looks a little bit nicer not seeing anything for branding it's got kind of like a herringbone type finish 
but the bottom it's got these little crystals. They're gonna make me work for it today. Okay. All right. So here we have. It looks like a triple strand braided gold tone necklace. Don't see any branding up top, but it's pretty. And here we have a little gold tone necklace thin chain, real delicate, with a little charm that says Mama Bear. Pair of earrings. I'm not seeing so many loose earrings today. One or two, but not a ton yet. Maybe they're all sitting at the bottom of the bag. Okay. So here we have like a gunmetal type color necklace. It's got some concentric hoops there. And it's New York and Company. That's cute. Have to work out a few tangles. But it's a nice necklace. I'll clasp that shut to try to stop some of these tangles. have a bracelet and it's beaded it's got some long wooden beads or plastic wood look beads little designs on it it looks like the clasp might be broken so maybe I'll try to salvage the beads from that for bead lot okay this is the one I'm not looking forward to is this huge tangle I guess there's no way to work through it but piece by piece so that's what we'll do Looks like there's a clip earring here holding it a bunch of it together. So let's sort that out first. Okay. Whoops. Almost. Alright, here's the guy that was doing all that to damage. And they are still tangled up. Maybe I can work enough loose. Okay. So let's start with hmm, whatever comes loose first. Looks like it's going to be this guy. Okay, I'm looking up top. See a little bit of something written there. I do not have my loop still. Hang on one second. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back with my loop. And I'm just going to take a look at this necklace because it does say something up there. And that says it is an Avon necklace. I know some people are really into Avon, so I will set that to the side. Okay, what will we have next? I think this one, just because it looks to be a bit of a troublemaker in the tangles department. So if I can get that out of here, maybe we can get the rest of this loose. Got another earring holding it together. There we go. Let's let them free. Okay, so this looks like a multi-strand necklace. don't see any branding. It's got these kind of leaf-like. Feels kind of lightweight, not real substantial. I'll have to look at that closer. All right. Here we have feels like faux pearls off the top of my fingers. 
how little hook lasts. They do have a nice luster though, so they're nice ones. Okay. Here we have the dreaded knot. Okay. So here we have no branding. Kind of silver, slate blue. Oops, wrong side. Now we have deeper blue, some brilliant blue crystals, and a little pendant at the bottom. That's pretty cute. Here we have another multi-strand necklace. Again, no branding, silver tone chain. And then the strands, we have some like kind of pinkish red beads. And then we have a strand of just chain, and then we have a large chain. So it's kind of like a chunky multi-chain. Interesting. I like it. Okay. Moving right along. Sorry, I'm trying to go fast with the tangles, but... These chains must have tied themselves in knots on their long journey here. Another multi strand. I'm becoming a professional detangler. Not really. These thin chains are always the most tangly. I guess we're coming back through this way. I thought I had it until I didn't. Maybe I can unhook this one and work it loose that way. almost free. No. Okay, I'm going to give this one more minute and then if I have to I'll turn off the camera and just work these out. They're usually tangly but not quite this tangly. Maybe I have to unhook this one. Maybe that's the magic. It is not. There. Okay. Looks like we have some branding here. Nine West. Well, I like Nine West. Let's take a better look at him. right side here. We've got a triple strand. The first has like these reddish 
kind of plastic stones. The second has this kind of pretty feature with like the crystals in it. And then the third just has like the occasional beads. It's really pretty. I like this a lot. We will clean that up. Random disc here. Okay, we have a gold tone chain. It's got a lot of kinks in it. Or maybe that's the design. No, it looks like kinks and the design. All right. Single earring. Another single earring. This is a pin of some sort. Let's look a little closer at that design. Okay, so it's like roses covered in glass. I'm not sure if you can see that real good or not through the camera. It's interesting, it looks old fashioned. I always like anything that looks a little old fashioned. I run less towards modern style and more towards, towards like vintage and stuff like that. Okay, this is a gold tone chain. I do see writing on it, so we'll take a look at that as well. It's like a manion or something. Hmm, I'll have to look that up. I'm not familiar. Okay, we have a dragonfly pendant on a gold tone chain. Kind of choker style. It's pretty short. Here we have a loose pendant. It looks like agate. It's got some crystal embellishments. That's really pretty. I will look for a chain to pop that on because I like that. back to the knot. Sorry guys. Wow, this one is bad, bad. Okay, I tell you what, I'm going to set this to the side. I'm going to go forth with stuff that's not in this knot and at the end I'll pause the camera and undo all the tangles. But for now, here we have a little blue pendant. On a gold tone chain, we have some branding on the tag, and that is LR, LR in kind of like a cursive font, I don't know if you can see that. I can't think off the top of my head what that would be, so that's another one I'll have to look up. Let's see what this one says. It's just like the other one. Okay, gold tone. Here we have a loose heart pendant. Maybe I can put it on one of those chains. It has a little crystal at the bottom. We have another loose like sand dollar. Oops, rolling away. That's pretty. That probably came from one of those other chains as well. That tends to happen a lot in these boxes that the chains get knotted up and stuff and the pendants fly off. Here we have a clip earring. Pretty little seed pearl bracelet, little flower clasp. All right, let me reach into the bag and get out a little more jewelry. Hopefully stuff that's not quite as tangled. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to avoid it entirely. Oops, I'm knocking the camera loose. Okay. Oh boy. Alright, it's all coming out. Together. Alright, then come out if you want to come out. shove it to the side so we have room to see. Okay, we have a little click-clack bracelet. 
don't see any branding. Another loose pendant. This is a jack o' lantern. Bangle bracelet. Clip earring. I think we saw one of those earlier. Okay, here we have like a pearl necklace. Have some branding at the top. S A O. And then it's pearl or faux pearls that comes down to like embellishment at the bottom. And here we have just a white and baby blue beaded necklace. And here we have an orange beaded necklace. Such a retro color of orange, I love it. Okay, so we've got the bigger beads at the bottom, and then it comes up to smaller beads at the top. Is there any branding on here? I do not see it. Still pretty cool. Okay. What to a tangle again? Okay, let me see if I can see here. Okay, so here we have a red statement necklace. It's also got gold tone. No branding. That's kind of a nice bold little piece. I like it. Do not like this. I just have to trash that. It's kind of dirty. Clip earring. We have a pendant. It's like a letter B. And then it's on a gold tone chain. Earring. Hinged bracelet. Flower motif on there. Don't see any branding anywhere. Earring. Here we have a small necklace, more of like a choker style. And there is some branding on here or something. Avon. Maybe we had an Avon enthusiast in the crowd here. Okay. I think that's just wound around there. It's not actually part of it. Okay, so we have a large turquoise plastic and copper tone. It's got like a bear claw and an arrow, and it comes up to leather. And the branding on that is Leah Sophia. I'll have to see if I can get that leather cleaned up. And here we have a locket. It's gold tone, thicker chain. Okay, is there any branding on here? I don't see any. I'm always afraid to open these. I'm afraid I find something horrible inside, like a tooth or something. But this one is empty. You could put a little treasure in there, though. That's kind of cool. Here's a cute bracelet. It's kind of like turquoise toned. It's got a toggle clasp. It's got some branding on it. Let's see what that's all about. And that is Nine West. Very cute. All right, next up, we have a gold tone necklace with these little coin type embellishments. They look kind of like hammered coins top. It's just got the slide adjuster. No branding, but it's pretty. All right. Here we have a pendant. Okay, there we go. 
like a leaf. You can see the veins in the leaf and it's got crystal. No branding on that one, but it's pretty. The way the light kind of catches that crystal. And here we have a bracelet that's similar to that Avon necklace we had before. I wonder if it's Avon also. I don't see any branding. And here we have just a plain. It looks like it was gold foam, but it looks pretty dirty. I'll have to see if we can clean that up. Here's a single earring. Next we have this black. It's got like multi-strand seed beads. And then it has got a black pendant at the bottom. It's kind of choker style. It's really unique. And then here we have like a jingle bracelet. A lot of charms hanging from that one. I don't really see any branding on it or anything, but you would hear you coming with that on. Okay, here we've got a really like delicate little bracelet. It's got really pretty like aqua stones. The clasp looks good. I'll clean that up. Oh, we are knotted up here. Got a really dainty chain kind of tangled up and everything here, so I want to be careful. Here we go. Okay, here we have a Mr. Owl. And it's just got a gold tone chain, no branding or anything. We have what looks to be another locket maybe maybe it doesn't open feels like it would if it does I'm just not finding the mechanism for it I'll play around with that later anyway it's got like a blue embellishment on top kind of brush finish on the back no branding but it looks kind of old-fashioned and I like that Here's a cute bracelet. It's got like the black stone and then it's got these two crystal accents on the side. Some branding on it. Let me take a peek. That is also an Avon bracelet. Looks like it's in really good condition so I'll just give it a clean. Here's a cute necklace. like a little drop accent and then crystals and then kind of like gunmetal type beads up the side. Pretty closure. Clean that up too, that looks nice. Here's another pair of those cubic zirconia earrings. Dainty little bracelet. I feel like it might be broken though. It's really lightweight. Alright. Earring stuck in here. It's a cute earring though. Okay. So moving right along. Here we have a pendant with like blue background. And this looks like it opens as well. Oh, I see. It's got different colors of felt inside, so you can change the color of the background. That's cool. I'm feeling purple today, so let's switch it out to purple. Yeah. Very neat. Don't see any branding? But that's just kind of a cool little thing. I imagine ladies used to wear that back in the day and just change it up with their outfit. I like the idea of that. 
Okay. Okay, so here we have a pendant. It's kind of an olive green, shiny, with a gold tone chain, and I don't see any branding. I like that color though. It's kind of eye catching. And then the next one we have. It's kind of St. Patrick's Day style. You've got a circle with glass, and in the glass there's some loose little shamrocks that kind of jiggle around. And that has a branding on it. Not a joy from China. I'm not familiar, but interesting. Okay. So here we have it looks like a triple strand bracelet. It's kind of pretty the way it catches the light. I'll give that a clean up and maybe I'll put it on eBay. Let's see what it looks like after I clean it up if it looks too cheap. And I shall just put it in my rummage pile. Here's a cute chain. It's got like these little ball bead accents and then like these elongated ovals. That's pretty. I love the color of these beads. They look like Easter eggs. I don't see any branding, but those are nice. They actually feel like stones or glass. They don't feel like just plastic, which is nice. And here we have kind of like a pink flower on one side and on the reverse it's like golden. No branding, but it's, it reminds me of something vintage or older. Clip earring. I didn't even know there was that many people out there wearing clip earrings still. Oh, this is dainty. I love this. Look at that little flower. Take a look at this tag. And that is a Monet. Very cute. Looks older as well. I like that. I'll be careful cleaning that one. I don't want to knock anything loose on there. Monet has some really nice stuff. on going. This part is tangled but maybe not quite as badly as the other section of the bag was. So here we have kind of a marbled accent bead square, gold and black, coming up to gold and black beads and a gold tone chain. It's got kind of a barrel class. Don't see any branding. Reminds me of 80s. Here we have kind of a crescent. And that does not have any branding either, just a pearl. Here we have a little pendant, concave and convex. And it does have some branding on it. So we will have a look see. And it says 1926. So there we go. Here we have a long oval blue with like a little flower type embellishment. Gold tone chain. So we'll check it out. Nope. No gold and no branding. Moving along. few treasures so far I think but we will keep it moving. Okay, here's something cute. Just like these colors together. It's kind of like again like that gunmetal color with like a deep red beads. It's kind of metallic. Don't see any branding but that's a really nice necklace. And 
then here we have something what's it say on the back here Avon and it's like a heart with maybe like a topaz color stone in the center and then a gold phone chain I'm gonna be cleaning a lot of jewelry tonight this is dainty to work some of this other stuff loose first before I can get at that. There we go. Okay, so this is like a drop necklace, a choker style. I don't see any branding, but it's really pretty. It's got like these delicate pink, like light pink kind of iridescent flower details, and it comes down. I'll hold it a little closer so you can see that detail. That is gorgeous. I'm going to clean that up. Okay, my hands feel just filthy now digging through this stuff. It's a familiar feeling. I like it though, it reminds me of digging for chargers. I just have to scrub up good afterwards. Okay, you two are not playing nice. Alright, so this here is two necklaces stuck together. We'll start with the little one. The chain is really tangled, so I'm going to have to work at that later. It's like a heart. It has a saying on the back. My old eyes are going to need a loop to read that. Wherever you go, whatever you do, may your guardian angel watch over you. That's sweet. Maybe I can untangle this and give it to someone who needs a guardian angel. All right, so here we have just a gold tone chain, and then we have some geometric beads hanging from it. It kind of reminds me of that plastic stuff that people used to craft with in the 80s. You'd like heat it up or something. Oh, this is pretty. So you've got a silver tone chain up here. It comes down into like a mesh on this side, which is attached to purple beads on this side, and it just kind of gives a neat effect. I'll lay it out flat so you can see. Well, I guess you can't really see because they kind of flop, but it's cute. Nice little statement necklace. Okay, next up I think we'll try this one. Move that loop out of here. I don't see any branding on this either, but it's kind of like a choker. And it's got like these pink roses on it. They have kind of crystal accents around them. I'll have to check this close later to make sure there's no missing beads, but that's really pretty. Here we have a pendant. It's got kind of like a milky bead with crystal accents all around. That's pretty. I think it looks nicer in person than it does on camera. Don't see any branding, but that's really an interesting one. Same thing on the back. Yep, there is actually. It's Avon. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. That's pretty. There's a lot of Avon stuff in here. Here's a loose chain. It may go to one of those pendants we saw earlier. If not, I will find something to dangle from it. Let's see what this says. If anything. It does say something. Let me get in here. 18 karat gold filled. Okay, now we have a gold tone. Mm, actually, two. We'll start with this one, which is broken, so we will not bother with you, sir. On to the next. Not everyone makes it out alive from the tangle, unfortunately. Okay, I don't see any branding up front, but it's a nice multi strand necklace. 
have these little pearl accents on each of the three strands. It's really pretty. And then we have a teeny little heart with it. And it has a little crystal in the center. And I don't see any branding on that either. And here we have a dainty little bracelet. Trying to make it catch the light there. Not really happening too much, but I don't see any branding. It looks really delicate though. And then we have a little gold knot on a gold chain. And also no branding to be seen there. Okay, back into the magic bag. Pulling my camera loose, am I not? Okay. Here we have some bagged up stuff and chunkier treasures. And then after I get through this, I will pause the camera for a moment and untang that, untangle that other big knot of jewelry. And then I will turn it back on and go through it just so you don't have to suffer watching me wrestle with knots. Okay, so here's the bottom of the bag stuff. We've got a pretty owl pin. Here's a pendant. It's like silver on one side and on the other it says... Always sisters, forever friends. And we have another couple things here. First we have like this kind of mm, line drawing type cartoon face. And it's on both sides of the pendant. Here we have a bracelet with some really pretty details on it flowers. It's really a botanical theme type. Don't really see any branding, but it's really pretty. Gold herringbone style bracelet. Yeah, I don't see anything on here either. I will give it a clean up and see what it looks like after. So these things are hard to tell if they're going to be cute or not. Little unicorn pendant, some earrings, a leaf pendant, little pearl type pendant. We've got a lot of loose pendants down here. Might be a locket. Some earrings. Some more earrings. Here we have a bangle bracelet, a chunky gold tone bracelet, and this, is it a ring or is it a pendant? I think it's more of a pendant, it doesn't really, it's not the right shape for a finger. Here we have like a long orange colored ring, and that maybe, is that Avon? Let me take a look here. That is Avon. This says Mariel. It's kind of like a comb. Like that old time hair comb. Well, it doesn't really look old, but it's like that type of thing. 14 karat gold tone. Little heart. And we have here says January or January designs created in Jan Mary designs created in Ireland. And then we have key to success. Make a wish and put on your necklace. It's no secret. The key to success is doing what you love. When your necklace wears off, your wish is ready to come true. That's kind of an interesting idea. And here we have 18 karat gold tone, a little necklace. Swarovski earrings. Another bracelet, kind of a turquoise pattern. 
We have a silver tone chain. Looks like Leo Sophia doesn't have anything hanging from it though, so I feel like something's missing. And we have a chunky gold tone bracelet. Avon. It's got like the crystal embellishment. Cute. Here we have a thicker gold tone chain. Taco bracelet. It's got a key on it. A heart with a lock. Another heart. Does it say something on there? Fossil. So it's a fossil bracelet. Here's another earring to match the one I saw before, which also goes with that necklace, so we can do that as a set. And here we have like a gunmetal gray brace or necklace with a triple black stone pendant. Gold earrings. A little bracelet with flower detail. Here we have a thick gold tone bracelet. Might be a branding in there. No, it just says China. Hmm. Another gold tone bracelet. Not really see anything on that one either. Here we have a pearl bracelet with little opal type accents. Not real opal, I don't think. That says JJH. Yep, JJH. We have yet another pair of cubic zirconia earrings. And one more gold tone chain. Okay, so that is everything but the big tangle. So I'm going to turn off the camera for a second and untangle that. And then I'll show you what was in the knot. Be right back. Okay, I am back. And it has been about a good hour and a half since I went away to untangle those necklaces. And I've got them mostly untangled now. So let's, I'll go ahead and show you what I found. wire out of the way here. Okay. And the first one is this butterfly. It's kind of pink in color and it kind of hangs at an angle from the silver tone chain. Earring. are tangling back up already. How about that? Okay, here we have a gold tone chain. And that's got some little pearl accents all the way down. Some crystals. And a little flower at the end with a pearl. And here we have a bracelet. And this is like a blue crystal pendant, some beads, gold tone chain. It does look like there's a brand on here, so let's check that out. SAO. It's probably a discount brand or something, but it's really pretty. Then we've got a pearl and like a chevron gold tone chain. Let's check that out. Nope, I see a copyright mark, but I don't see a brand. So we'll keep it moving. Next we have like a brown stone at the bottom and then a bunch of beads.
And that is Avon. And here we have a pearl and gold tone necklace with a little heart pendant. And like a little drop. And then here we have a pearl. And it's kind of in the center of a V. And that is Avon also. And then here we have, like what is that, Omega sign, pearl. And that is unbranded. Okay. Wait a minute. Is there something on the back? NRT. Not sure. Okay. So here we have like a seashell or oyster shell with a pearl. Gold tone. Unbranded. Here we have a heart with a rhinestone in the center. Gold tone chain. And what is on the chain? Korea on one side let me turn on the light for the other side mm. it looks like it says something at one point but it's worn away unfortunately okay moving right along we have a bracelet that's got like these long dangles on it with beads and stones how are these tangling up again already okay so here we have like a little a bead, <clears throat> a bead or a dark pearl inside like a little cage pendant. And it's on a silver tone chain. Don't see any branding there. Here we have it looks like a birthstone necklace. It says May on it. It's got a little stone and gold tone. This is just a plain silver tone chain. It has something written on it. Let's take a look. That is faint. Looks like 8 kg. Not sure. And then we have another gold tone chain, just plain. I'm going to have to set some of these plain chains to the side to go with some of those pendants we found earlier. Okay, so here we have a heart pendant. And it's on like a double strand. It goes like that. It's got like the heart. Let me turn it around this way. My table's getting full. There's got like these little ball accents on one and then a sluice chain on the other. And I'll hook that back together. I kind of had, had to unclasp some of these to get the tangles out. And here was a loose pendant that fell out. It goes to one of those chains, and I'll just have to figure out which one later. And it says Madison. It looks like it might be a locket. Yes. 
and nothing is lurking inside, thank God. Here we have a big heart. Looks like it's got either wear or dirt on it, so we'll clean it up and see what it looks like after. It's just got a slider for an adjuster. And last but not least, I have a pink quartz pendant on a rose gold chain. Not like real gold, but rose gold tone, let's say. No brand. Or is that a brand? Maybe. Elsie. Maybe Lauren Conrad? Anyway, that's cute. And that is it for bag number one from Appleton. It's been quite the ride, a lot of untangling. Hopefully the second bag from Appleton goes a little easier. Um, I'm definitely going to take a break, and I'll be back with it in a few days. But for now, I'm just going to scoop this stuff up. Hopefully it's not tangled again, and get it to cleaning, because my fingers were filthy after untangling those chains. So I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching me untangle jewelry today, and I'll see you again in a couple days. Take care.